Last week, things started to cool down and we're getting down into some really cool conditions that we just haven't seen for months now. So here's a look at what's happening. We have this thick marine layer over Southern California, more than 5,000 feet in thickness in some spots. But we also have a system to the north of us that's driving in that colder air. So our next weather sky cam, looking at our Hollywood Hills camera, you could just see the blanket of clouds overhead. So earlier, we got some updated computer models showing that this system is just a little bit drier than what we thought. We're still going to likely see some patchy drizzle or some sprinkles being squeezed out of the clouds, uh, but it looks like the bigger weather story today will be the cooler conditions. So here's a look at our next weather forecast hour by hour. The clouds are going to stick around just a little bit longer. By the lunch hour, it starts to clear a little bit more, and then we're looking at more of the sunshine for the second half of the day. Temperature wise for areas like downtown LA will be in the low 70s. Our next weather forecast, what we're watching for, as I mentioned, much cooler conditions. 10 to 20 degrees below average today. And then so there is a chance for some patchy light rain and drizzle still because of a system to the north of us, but it's going to be light. So about a tenth of an inch in some spots. If we do see a little bit more, maybe right along the foothills, that's probably the most likely place we'll see a little bit more of that rain later today uh, near the San Gabriel foothills. So about a quarter inch or less. But this is going to help prime our atmosphere because we have a second system moving in by the time we head into Wednesday night into Thursday. This could bring us a better chance to see some of that light rain as well. So this is something that we're watching as we get into the next few days. Right now, though, this is a really cold system moving into the Great Basin area, and this is what's driving that colder air into our region. So here's a quick look at our next weather future cast. So you could see it is much drier than what we were seeing computer models running yesterday. So we're probably just going to see uh, some light drizzle, some light rain over the Inland Empire by about 7 a.m. in some spots, and then some of this will move into southern Orange County. Again, really light, and then we're not seeing too much in L.A. or Ventura County, and then by the time we head into the 11 a.m. hour, a lot of this is drying up, and then we're slowly starting to see the clouds clear away in some spots. We could even see reverse clearing today, meaning the, the beaches will clear faster than our foothill communities, which is the opposite. Usually it's the clouds inland that peel back, but we probably will see the clouds uh, near the coast uh, clear a little faster. All right, so we also have a lot more of the winds from the system, so we're probably going to see those gustier winds pick up later this afternoon. This is why it's what's prompting our wind advisory for the coast of Ventura County and also for the foothills and our high deserts here in Southern California. Our next weather seven day outlook for LA and Orange County, low 70s through Thursday with that second system. As soon as that second system leaves the area, a slight warm up begins and we're talking temperatures on the first day of fall. It's going to be the opposite. It's going to be in the high 80, so slightly above average. We're feeling fall-like conditions now, and then it's going to feel more like summer on the first day of fall.